The Panama City Commissioners met today to discuss the forensic audit that was conducted after a city leader stole more than a million dollars. News Channel 7's Allison Baker joins us now in our studio to break down what all happened with the arrest of Michael Johnson. He was the Panama City Community Redevelopment Agency Director. She starts off our team coverage tonight. Nisa, on October 20th, Panama City Police arrested Johnson on a charge of grand theft of more than $100,000. That first charge then led to several others, including money laundering and 19 counts of official misconduct. Johnson had his date in court back in March of this year, where he pled no contest to all charges. City officials say Johnson stole around $1 million from the Friends of the After School Assistance Program, or better known as Friends of ASAP, the nonprofit from 2012 to 2022. Johnson did serve as the executive director of the board of that nonprofit. Johnson also took around $89,000 from CRA funds from the city. Investigators also discovered 11 properties and three vehicles that Johnson bought with the stolen funds. A Bay County judge sentenced Johnson to eight years in prison back in March. City officials say the Friends of ASAP nonprofit will be dissolved once it's fully reimbursed. All right, thank you, Allison. Now city leaders are trying to get to the bottom of what happened. Commissioners hired an outside firm to conduct a forensic audit. New Channel 7's Victoria Scott was there for today's six-hour-long meeting into the findings. She joins us now live in our studio. And Victoria, what's the result of the audit? Hey, guys, the audit showed Johnson acted alone. Now Panama City leaders say they're relieved. The results are in and the dust has settled. The highly anticipated findings of the forensic audit conducted on the city were released at Tuesday's Panama City Commission meeting. I mean, I think it was a great thing that we did, and it was a very detailed report. It was just, it was incredible information they gave us. Commissioners selected the Warren Averett firm out of Panama City to conduct a forensic audit on the city. It all stems after the arrest of former city employee Michael Johnson on charges related to money laundering and official misconduct. Uh, so what we saw in the forensic audit presentation today is you saw the very methodical approach that got taken and stealing these funds. The audit showed Johnson embezzled around $1 million from the Friends of ASAP and around $89,000 from the city's community redevelopment agency. The audit also revealed Johnson acted alone in the crime. I would say that the most important thing that came out of it is one, that he was operating by himself. And number two was, you know, solutions to what we can do to take our risks down in the future. Those solutions include making files digital, check disbursement requests and more. The benefit of doing something like this is not only that you're able to see and follow the criminal activity, but you also see where there's a potential that someone could use it in the future to um, steal taxpayer dollars and allows us to close those, those areas where we're weak. City officials say the audit is just one way they're trying to gain back public trust. This gives us an opportunity to really give back to these kids in a way that's never been available before. So in spite of the negative effects that have taken place over the last decade, this is a really positive moving step forward for these communities that have been affected. Now, City Manager Mark McQueen is still the acting CRA director. In the case, authorities found Johnson used the stolen CRA dollars on four of his 11 personal properties. The city has since seized those properties and will sell them. We're told that should generate around $1 million. Guys? All right, thank you, Victoria. Thank you for Well, speaking of um, Steve McQueen, Mark McQueen, sorry. <laughs> Panama City officials were left in shock last month after hearing City Manager Mark McQueen was resigning. McQueen made the announcement at the end of the commission meeting, and now the city leaders are tasked with finding a replacement. They made progress at today's commission meeting. Commissioners chose two headhunting firms to help in the search for a new city manager. The firms were picked based off of qualifications. However, nothing is set in stone yet. Commissioners agreed to give a 30-day window to advertise on several websites and entities that specialize in what people look for in city managers. They say Florida League of Cities is one example. City leaders will then revisit the topic and choose the best firm for the job.